Less than 24 hours after the announcement that Our Lady of Belfont Hospital in Ashland, Kentucky is closing, a job fair was held to help the more than 1,000 hospital employees who will be out of work by this September. 13 News reporter Shannon Litton was there. I always say you know, as one door closes, another one opens. It's during the most challenging times of our lives. The doors closing for them at Belfont, but there's doors that are open at Cabell and St. Mary's. That we get to see how a community reacts to adversity. Our community is hurting from this devastating news. Sarah Reed, who works at Belfont Primary Care in South Shore, is one of the nearly 1,000 employees being put out of work. She's at this job fair looking for a new job. It's a fair created on short notice specifically for employees at Belfont. We're extremely happy with the turnout so far. We've spoken with a lot of job ready applicants. It's a challenge hundreds of families will have to deal with. Some applicants even coming in with their children. A reminder that this hospital closure will have real consequences for families in the tri-state, both employees and patients. My husband and I, we, um, we do okay, but obviously having a good job is something that everyone depends on in our area. Reed tells me it's not just the job losses she's concerned with, she's also worried about her patients. It's going to be hard to um, see where these patients go and make sure that they have the great care that they deserve because it, it's hard to find that. Another challenge this tri-state area will strive to overcome. In Russell, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. Now, if you are one of the employees affected by this hospital closure, you can find a link on our website, wowktv.com, to available opportunities at Cabell Huntington Hospital and St. Mary's Medical Center.